Hello once once again we're here and welcome back to another crossout episode so guys we have a new PvP map <laughs> yes guys it's hard to believe isn't it after all those mods battle royale soccer uh, football whatever it is new raids new game modes finally they managed to make a new map like personally the only thing that i was waiting for is the new map and finally in next update we're gonna play on it so enough with talking and let me show you this new map oh my god look at this it has two capture points with enemies there's three so it's assault game mode not the encounter like like guys look at the weather it's rainy and how relaxing it is and and i hope they will add rain sound because i really need that like it's too hot here i'm dying finally i can chill in this game <laughs> anyway the atmosphere it's beautiful feeling like in chernobyl There was a lightning! Are you kidding with me? It's so good! The atmosphere is real. I'm feeling like I'm in Chernobyl right now, literally. Post apocalyptic Russia. Anyway, we're inside this thing right now. No. I'm not gonna fight, I'm just gonna show you around what we have. Okay, uh, the tower is here. The name of the map came from this tower, I believe. Some cool looking abandoned vehicles. Houses. It feels like bridge map, but it's bigger and cooler. Okay. Beautiful. And here we go, the right side of the map, we have a bridge, and it's actually huge, like, this map is much bigger than the normal one, it's beautiful. Another bridge, we can drive on top of it, wow. I can't believe it. Well, as you can see, this is probably going to be a camper spot. They're gonna rush from here and you can ambush. Right from this spot. Wow. Amazing. It looks awesome. Right now I can't cap this zone. I believe they're gonna fix it in the next patch. But yeah, so far I'm really satisfied with this map. It's it's awesome. It's perfect. Tons of places you can drive, camp. Good job, devs. Really good job. I hope we will see more of them.
Ivy on buildings. I'm telling you, this is Chernobyl right here. Literally. It's awesome. Okay. The sun piercing through the clouds looks beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> look what's underneath it. <laughs> Let's look at the top of the tower. Let's start from here. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Where's the fire? Oh! The lightning strikes here and the fire begins. What? Oh no, there is no fire. Okay, some paper buildings here. <laughs> Factory area, as you can see. Looks like a real photo. So also, we have information about buffs and nerfs of the next update. Let's check them out, but they're not detailed yet. Increase reloading speed of junk bow shotgun. I didn't expect that. They didn't talk about Fafnir here. They say only junk bow. No information about Fafnir. Now, they didn't say how much they're going to increase it. So don't be that happy, but still it's a buff. Reduce spread of the piercer machine gun and increase the range of its fire. Double buff. They change something with drones and turrets. MD3 all and RT anaconda. Increase turret rotation speed and reduce the delay before the shooting begins. All and anaconda missile explosions will no longer deal damage to their owner. And the missiles themselves will no longer explode on contact with player's drones. Okay, increase the range of the automatic weapon Caucasus. Another nerf for Tackler. Reduce durability of Tackler and Prometheus 5. And oh boy, here's the bad news for Capcan users. They're limiting the number of mines that each Capcan can place on the map at a time. So they might limit it or they might increase the reloading time of the Capcan. There's two possibilities. Uh, I think Capcan users are going to be really sad. Yeah, the pack is not cheap either. But yeah, this is cross out, boys. I'm always telling you about this. Nerves buffs. Like Thanos snaps his finger and cross out devs doing the same thing. Bam! Capcan gone! <laughs> While buying a new part, always beware of that. It might get nerfed, it might get buffed. Nothing is sure, because this game is still on beta. Everything is going to change. Durability, parts. Weapons, damages, everything. So beware of that. Uh, they buffed the Draco, increased the jet range for Draco and its rate of fire. Increased the durability of flamethrower firebug, as well as the range of the flame jet. And yeah, basically this is it. I'll give you information about detailed buffs and nerfs when the update will come out. And the last thing is new mode that called Domination and new raid where you have to destroy a Leviathan. This is all early news I have about 9.90. But yeah, this map cheers me up. Like, I can't wait to play on it. Tell me in the comments what do you think about this map, buffs and nerfs. So yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. By the way, guys, if you didn't hear, my Facebook page is finally out. Don't forget to check it out. And like in Twitter, I will answer to your every game related questions there. So don't miss that chance. We can always talk on Twitter and Facebook. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out. Here comes the music. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna shoot you right down.